Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving a really nice cubic equation. And the reason this is a really nice cubic equation is that you need to be extra creative in order to solve this. So as we wrote in the title, 99% of people are not able to solve this. So let's go ahead and solve this for x. And in order to do that, first of all, let's go ahead and divide everything by 2. So we're going to get x cubed plus 1 over 2 times x plus root 2 divided by 2 equals 0. Next, let's go ahead and replace 1 over 2 with 1 minus 1 over 2. So we have x cubed plus this times x plus root 2 divided by 2 equals 0. Next, let's go ahead and use the substitution method. So we're going to substitute this number with t. So t equals root 2 divided by 2, which means that t squared is going to be 2 over 4 or 1 over 2. So if root 2 divided by 2 is t, 1 over 2 is going to be t squared, which means that our equation is this. x cubed plus the quantity 1 minus t squared times x plus t equals 0. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we have x cubed plus x minus x times t squared plus t equals 0. Next, let's go ahead and negate both sides to get x times t squared minus t minus the quantity x cubed plus x. And the whole thing is equal to 0. Now, by doing all of this, we have a really nice quadratic equation in terms of t. So you can see that we have x times t squared minus t minus some other quantity. So in this case, we can say that our leading coefficient is x. So I call this a. And b is negative 1. And this is our constant term, or c. So let's go ahead and use this and use the quadratic formula in order to solve this for t. So if you do that, we're going to have t equals negative b, which is 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is x, times c, which is negative the quantity x cubed plus x. And everything is divided by 2 times a, which is 2x. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have t equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 4x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 1, all divided by 2x. Now notice that this quartic expression is a perfect square, and it is equal to the quantity 2x squared plus 1 squared. So this means that we can cancel the square root, and we're going to have t equals 1 plus or minus the quantity 2x squared plus 1, all divided by 2x. So this means that we have two cases for the value of t, and now let's go ahead and take a look at the first case. So in the first case, we have t equals 1 minus the quantity 2x squared plus 1, all divided by 2x, which means that t is going to equal negative 2x squared over 2x, which simplifies to negative x. So this means that x is equal to t, Actually, x is equal to negative t, and since t is root 2 divided by 2, we can say that x is equal to negative root 2 divided by 2. So this is our first and the only real solution of our equation. Let's go ahead and talk about the second case. So in the second case, we have t equals 1 plus the quantity 
2x squared plus 1 divided by 2x, which means that t is equal to 2x squared plus 2 divided by 2x, which simplifies to x squared plus 1 divided by x. So if I cross and multiply, I can say that x squared plus 1 equals x times t. And if I replace t with root 2 divided by 2, I'm going to get x squared minus root 2 divided by 2 times x plus 1 equals 0. And now at this point, in order to solve this for x, we just need to use the quadratic formula. So x equals root 2 divided by 2 plus or minus the square root of root 2 divided by 2 squared, which is 1 over 2, minus 4, all divided by 2. So let's go ahead and multiply both the top and the bottom of this fraction by 2 to get root 2 plus or minus 2 times the quantity negative 3.5 divided by 4. Now if I go ahead and take this 2 and bring it in, I'm going to get x equals root 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 14, which can be written as root 14 times i, and this is divided by 4. So x equals root 2 plus or minus root 14 times i divided by 4 are the two complex solutions of our equation. Great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed watching this, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and I'll see you later.